Good morning, all of you. I am Dr. Kumar, Department of Physics, School of Science, Tamil Nadu Open University, Chennai. So once again, I welcome all dear student. Today we start the new material, a new concept. We study about the new papers, the physics of nanomaterials. Nowadays, the entire world they pronounce nano. So now, in this session, we discuss the first block, introduction and classification of nanomaterial. So in this session, we discuss what is nanomaterial, how to classify, how to synthesis, how what are the method to synthesis, and some general applications. So now we go to one by one. So in this lesson, in this course, we plan first introduction about nanomaterials, then history of nanomaterial, then classification of nanomaterial based on dimension, then method of synthesis, then conclusion. Okay. So now, first we know that there are four kinds of matters, solid, liquid, gas and plasma state. In a solid state, the crystalline materials and amorphous materials. The crystalline materials can further classify into three types, macrocrystal, microcrystal and nanocrystal. So there are the crystalline materials can classify into three types, macrocrystal, microcrystal and nanocrystal. The macro crystal can classify into further a single crystal and polycrystal. Then it also classified into twins and multiplex and so on. So in this topic, we discuss about nano crystals or nano materials. So what is nano? So normally, the 10 to the power minus 9 meter, a nano is a 1 billionth of a meter or 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Suppose an ordinary person, a common man, how do you explain nano? For example, a normal person can walk 32 kilometers or 20 miles in one day. If a person is slim in so that they were 1 meter tall, a human being's height normally 5 to 6 feet, now we assume his size may be in one nanometer size. Then how long would take them to walk a length of a dollar bill? Normally, a person walk a 32 kilometer in one day. A normal person string into a nanometer scale, how long would take them to walk the length of a length, is a dollar bill in question? It take around 24 years. But amazing the size is string it take one day he travel 32 kilometers the same distance the size reduced into one nanometer tall 24 years so then what is nanotechnology there are the nano science and nanotechnology so what is nanotechnology the science of manipulating atom and molecules to make a new material and devices. The nanotechnology is nothing but the science of manipulating atoms and molecules to make a new material and devices. It is an interdisciplinary field where the science and engineering or biology, whatever. It occurs the size between 1 to 100 nanometer range. So we know that 1 nanometer is 10 to the power minus 9 meter are about 3 atoms long. Okay, 3 atoms. We know that the size of the atom, the order of, we know that 10 to the power minus 10 angstrom, the size of the nucleus or radius of the nucleus in terms of Fermi are 10 to the power minus 15 meter. For a comparison, a human hair is about 60 to 80,000 nanometers wide. The thickness of our hair is around 60 to 80,000 nanometer wide. 
these are the some example this is a bucky balls and the size is a nanometer scale now the length scale we explain in detail about the length scale a size of the atom in terms of angstrom then the dna 1 nanometer range the protein 10 nanometer range then a virus 100 nanometer range then a cell 1 micrometer then transistor and the 10 micrometer so the length scale is decreases so before the size of the atom the materials are a nano materials the size in the range of 1 to 100 nanometers for example we focus our a point in our hand at 100 meter range then at focus at 10 meter range then 1 meter range 10 to the power minus 1 10 to the power minus 2 10 to the power minus 3 then we reduce 10 to the power minus 4 10 to the power minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 10 to the power minus 9 it is a nano so in our hand a small point is focused at 10 to the power minus 9 range this is a your body this is a nano size now the history of nano science or nano material the physicist richard feynman he is the father of a nano science he told a blend of space in the bottom. A remarkable word, a blend of space in at the bottom. This, the ideas and concept behind nanosynth nanotechnology started by the physics Richard Feynman. Feynman described a process in which a scientist would be able to manipulate and control individual atoms and molecules. So the father of nanoscience and nanotechnology is a Richard Feynman, a blend of space under the room. The history of nanotechnology. 2000 years ago, they are using a sulfide nanocrystals used by Greek and Romans to dye hair. It is not a new. The nanotechnology is start 2000 years ago the greeks and romans they are using a sulfide nanocrystal for dye hair dye then similarly 100 years at middle age the cold nanoparticles of different sizes to produce a different colors in stainless glass of windows then 1974 in nanotechnology the word actually the father of nanoscience is Richard Feynman but the name was the terminology nanotechnology is by a tanguish used the term nanotechnology for the first time is a Japanese scientist then 1981 developed a tunneling scanning tunneling microscope now a carbon 1991 carbon nanotube nowadays we are go to a nano medicine nano robots nano sensors so many applications so nanotechnology is some of the examples the ancient the gold nanoparticles in glass are reflected as a red they are using stainless glass then hair dyes so these are the some of the example for so this used gold and silver nanoparticles the optical properties change with this nano scale actually the same material in the bulk material is converted into nano science the optical properties were changes the color is changes a yellow in color is converted into gold particle converted into reddish color so, so the optical properties changes so now what is nano material as per the definition as a physics a PG student. So, the nanomaterial possesses a unique and interesting mechanical, optical, electrical, magnetic, thermal, and other property.
properties. So nanomaterial possess a unique and having some interesting mechanical, optical, electrical, thermal, all other properties. These materials range from inorganic to organic, crystalline to amorphous, which can be found as a single particle, aggregates, powders, nanowires, quantum dots, nanofillings, nanotubes, etc. So, nanoparticles are a great scientific interest as they are effectively a bridge between bulk material and other atomic or molecular structure. So, a nanoparticle is a microscopic particle whose height is measured in nanometers or 10 to the power minus 9 meter. A bulk material should have a constant physical properties regardless of its size. But the nanoscale, this is often not in the case. So, size dependent properties are observed such as a quantum confinement in semiconductor. A quantum confinement in semiconductor particles, surface plasma and this. Next, the classification of nanomaterial. So, nanomaterial are classified into four types, zero dimension, one dimension, two dimension, three dimension are bulk nanomaterials. The zero dimension nanomaterials are nothing but it has no x, no y, no z. There is no dimension. So, the example is nanoparticles, quantum dots. These are the example for a zero dimension nanomaterials. The one dimension nanomaterial, only a length, that is a nanowires, nanotubes and nano ribbons, etc. These are the one dimensional nanomaterials. Then two dimension nanomaterial, there is a X and Y, a nano flame, nano coating, etc. The three dimension nanomaterials are bulk nanomaterials are nothing but a pellet form of nanomaterial or other structural properties of material. So there are three sorry, four classification of nanomaterial, zero dimension, one dimension, two dimension and bulk or three dimensional nanomaterials. Now, the semiconductor nanocrystals. The semiconductor nanocrystals are often referred as a quantum dots or which type a zero dimension nanomaterial or nanoparticles is also called as nanocrystals. What is in by crystal? We know that the crystalline solid and amorphous solid. The crystalline means a uniform. Now let us explain and everything is uniform. Structure is called a crystalline structure. So the semiconductor nanocrystals are nothing but a quantum dots, a uniform size. So these can be tuned to emit or absorb particular colors of light for use in solar energy or fluorescent biological labs. The semiconductor nanocrystals are often referred as the quantum dots. In the nanomaterial range, so next, the properties of nanomaterials. So, due to increase in surface area to volume ratio and quantum confinement in the nanomaterial. So, what is increase in surface area to volume ratio? Suppose in our classroom, how many of them accommodate in our classroom? Around 40 members. Suppose a 400 members are pushed in the classroom, what will happen? So, all are zigzag, somebody is in outer surface or somebody is in hanging and anywhere. So, similarly, we reduce the surface area to volume ratio. We reduce the volume, all the particles are surrounded in a surface. So, when volume is decreases, the surface area, the increase in surface area of the particles. So, the quantum confinement effect in the nanomaterial. So, these are the properties. These materials due to a nanomaterial is due to increase in surface area to volume ratio and quantum confinement effect in the nanomaterial. 
the fundamental properties like decrease in melting temperature increase in band gap blue shift in u visible spectrum and change in other properties are noticed so in a nano material so due to increase in surface area to volume ratio and quantum confinement effect the fundamental properties are changes for example the melting temperature increasing in band gap blue shift in u visible spectrum and change in other particles are noticed so next some application of nano material the synthesized nano material can be used to for a fabrication of gas sensor devices super capacitor coating on solar cells anti buckle activities photo catalyst and so many nanotechnological devices in this is discussed in our later classes now general methods of synthesis of nano materials the nano materials are generally synthesized into two types one is top down nano fabrication another one is bottom up nano fabrication there are two type of method to synthesis a nano material one is top down approach another one is bottom up approach so top down approach for example a building suppose you consider a building now we start with large material and bring it down to the nano scale this is a top down nano fabrication a building or you consider a brick a brick size is around like a, a bread now we reduce the size of the brick we step by step a ball milling method or we broken into very very small pieces so what will happen at finally a large brick is converted into a fine powder a fine powder of sand so a top down nano fabrication is nothing but the material start with a bulk material into nano material this type of approach is known as top down nano fabrication or top down approach suppose how to fabricate a brick a sand is mixed with some water some binding material then set into particular by using some uh, specimen then heated or a particular temperature and finally we get a brick so similarly the bottom of nano fabrication is nothing but it start with individual atoms and build upwards to make a nano structure so this is a bottom up nano fabrication a brick into sand this is a top down nano fabrication a sand into brick is a bottom up nano fabrication this is a two type of methods of synthesis one is top down synthesis known as bottom up synthesis so now what are the methods to top down approach one is mechanical milling in a grinder we put the material then continuously grind we find then laser ablation method spectrum electro spinning method electro porous method these are the some of the methods to fabricate nano material from top down approach the bottom up approach a variety of methods a solgel method then um, microwave synthesis method then chemical method thermal method hydrothermal method and so many methods on chemical vapor deposition physical vapor deposition cvd pvd and so many methods to produce a bottom up approach so this is a we consider this is a bulk material then is grain 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 finally we get a nano particles or the range suppose in bottom up approach here we have atoms molecules and finally we get a nano materials so these are the two type of approach top and bottom synthesis top down synthesis bottom up approach so you listen 
This is a, I ask one question. A normal man walk 32 km one day, but a man size is string into one nanometer tall. How much time to take travel the same distance? Anyone? Very good. 24 years. Good, good, good. So, you are seen. This is a nanotechnology lab. We are human human beings. This is a, a nano man. Okay, this is a very interesting one. So, in later classes, we discuss uh, so many properties and mechanical optical properties, then how to characterize, then how to apply, and so on. So, normally, the nanotechnology or nanomaterial is a multidisciplinary, not only physics. Okay, chemistry, biology, material science, information technology, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, especially in medicine. So, in all kind of fields, we are using a nano. So, now, in this class, we conclude now. First, what is nanomaterial? What is nanomaterial? The size of the material in the order of 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Okay. Anyone? How to classify or the classification of material? The material are classified into four types. Zero dimension, one dimension, two dimension and bulk or three dimension. Give one example for a three dimension, a pellet form of a nanoparticles. Give an example for zero dimension, a quantum dots. Give an example for quantum dots, a semiconductor nanoparticle or nanocrystal is also called as a quantum dots. Very good. Then, how to synthesis nanomaterial? The nanomaterial are classified into two types. Bottom-up approach, top-down approach. Okay. So, in our next class, we detail discuss about the synthesis methods of synthesis of nanomaterial. Few example for top-down approach and bottom up approach okay okay thank you any doubt dear students any doubt you ask me okay thank you we'll meet our next class okay very good have a nice day